Well, it's Monday now, so I think we can finally talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, at least with more detail compared to Saturday because we didn't have the full picture. Now we have a little bit more of an idea of where this movie stands. Now, as I pointed out before, the reception for this movie is quite good. A 95% still audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, which is pretty pretty good. Uh, I have seen the movie. I thought it was okay. Definitely one of the better Guardian, <laughs> excuse me, better Marvel movies in a long time. There's been a lot of bad Marvel. In fact, I think one of the reasons as to why the box office for this movie is as low as it is, and it is low as much as people want to praise this, and it could get a lot worse, and we're going to talk about that. But uh, one of the reasons that this box office isn't that good is because of the fact that ever since Endgame ended, Marvel has put out turd, after turd every movie and tv show they've put out in my opinion has been shit all of the movies of phase four were pretty awful and all of those disney plus shows were pretty awful i think the one standout you have is spider-man no way home and that was more of a sony movie so when you pump out a lot of bad content People lose faith in you. And now they're seeing the results of that because this movie is actually pretty good. It has good word of mouth too, which is going to help it maybe. I think a lot of people are just throwing their hands up and they don't care. And the reason that I, I think you can really talk about the idea of superhero fatigue and this genre in a lot of trouble is because we've now had multiple flops. Now, this movie can still do well. It could have legs, and we're going to talk about that. And if it does have legs, then I think we need to see the next couple of movies before we we jump to any kind of big conclusions. But if this movie flops, and it's looking like it will, we can definitely say that it's probably over because this is a good movie. And if a good movie flops when all of these have have usually at least kind of made a little bit of money, I think think Marvel's in a really, really bad place. So it opened up a little bit higher than expected at 118 million domestic. I think they were saying 114, 110 originally. A lot of people are saying this is great, giving it good headlines. Uh, The global for this movie was about 280 million made more money overseas, and one of the big reasons it made money was China. I had a good Chinese box office. However, in reality, this movie's not doing so well. We have a more accurate headlines right here. Box Office Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 kicks the summer off with a slightly disappointing $114 million. That's a more accurate headline. In fact... IndieWire also giving a more accurate headline. Guardians Volume 3 opens to lower box office than any Disney first of summer movie ever. Ever. $114 million normally would seem like a strong weekend, but by Marvel standards, it's a disappointment. And that's what a lot of people aren't getting. You see a lot of people out there saying, well, that's still a good, that's still a good open. Not by Marvel standards. This movie's actually on track to end up like Thor Love and Thunder. That movie didn't have a good box office either. It broke even, but this movie is a little bit of a higher budget than Thor Love and Thunder. Let's take a look at some of these numbers here. Yes, anytime a film opens over a hundred million is a positive event for theaters, and yes, for Marvel and Disney. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is an improvement over the lesser initial take for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. 
106 million last weekend, last February. Correct also is that it is the second best opening of the year, but the elephant in the room exists. Since 2013, Disney has opened their top summer season Marvel release on this date and also the last weekend in t- April twice without even having to adjust for inflation. The new Guardians with 114 million for its US Canada gross ranks dead last. Nine out of nine. The fallout from last year's entry, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, is steep, down $73 million from that one, and Strange was a sequel to a lesser series release than Guardians. This should be a sobering volume two on the same weekend in 2017 grossed at current ticket prices around $170 million. Multiverse of Madness was a total clickbait movie, too. Because you went in there expecting a Doctor Strange movie, and what you got was a WandaVision sequel starring America Chavez with her sidekick, the bumbling Doctor Strange. That shit turns people off, Marvel. And you've done it multiple times now. You've done it your entire Phase 4. And, you know, I think people are saying enough is enough. They've really (laughs) fucked themselves to be honest, and I don't know how they get out of this. Uh, Super Mario Brothers is still chugging along, too, by the way. Uh, so this ar- this article is actually pretty damn spot on. They must not get Disney gift baskets because you know you see a lot of you see a lot of spin like this opened even higher, uh, slightly better, not so bad. Like a lot of outlets are putting out headlines like that. And that's not the case. It's, it's actually not that good. Now, the good news for Disney, there is some, is the fact that for the next three to four weeks, there's not really anything coming out that can topple this movie. So not only, not only could it still make money because, well, there's nothing in its way, it could end up, still making more money than the other ones. By that, I mean two and one. But I don't know. I can't say that for sure. A lot of people might still go watch Mario. In fact, you could see Mario take back the number one spot, (laughs) which would be damn funny. Now, I'm not telling you to go see it or not. You can do what you want to do with your money. Uh, However, I do enjoy seeing these movies fail. Because Disney deserves it. This is Disney's fault. This is Marvel's fault. They put themselves in this situation. And now they're going to pay for it. If this movie had another movie in its way, like what's going to happen in a month, when all those, there's so many movies coming out in the next month, like this movie would get crushed. And it would have been even worse. But because they have like three weeks, three or four weeks, all to themselves, there's no big movies coming out for the next three weeks, I think. It could still probably make a little bit of money. But people might say F you and not go. I don't know. The real question is next weekend. If this movie sees the same drop that Ant-Man saw, it's done. And it won't make, it's going to be a disastrous box office for this movie. It's got three weeks to make the money it needs to make. Let's see if it happens. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.